our job now is we passed what I believe is a very good, very fair merit pay system. Now we have to fund it, and we've got three years to do it. And I'm going, uh, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that happens. Um, and this is well past the initial seed money that's coming from the federal government. We're not expecting this to continue and continue. And turning away money. It's a great question, to, with Frank. But turn, I, turning away, a principle turning here away to federal money for a train is one thing. Turning away federal money to help uh, kids learn is something completely different. And keeping in mind that the federal government, remember, you, you, you become beholden to your, to your uh, master because of the dollar. And my best story to that is uh, Louisiana. They wanted to keep the drinking age at 18. And uh, as a state, under the 10th Amendment, they should have that right. And the federal government said, well, no, no, no problem, you can keep it 18. Remember this debate when we were teenagers? Um, you can keep it, oh, but we're not going to send any roads money because we don't want those kids driving on our roads. Uh, so they were, uh, Louisiana was forced through extortion to change the drinking age to 21. Um, we as a state, like every other state, live on that same paradigm. In fact, our cities and counties live on that same paradigm from our from us in the state level. Um, that when when President Obama and President Bush, what was this called? No child left behind. They all come with strings. They say if you do these things, then you will get your full funding. Not then you'll get extra funding. Um, and so uh, that's that, that's what that's the game that's played in government. And uh, I know it makes you sick, Frank, and it does me too. Well, as a follow up. What yeah. you you two tell me how this state ranks in teacher salary as compared to other states, and more specifically, how does Brevard County rank? And I'm going to tell you, we're very low. We're in the middle. We're very low. And let me just say this: What do you think that's going to do? I can tell you what morale is at my high school. It is the pits. Well, listen, and listen. Uh, let me tell you what the morale is at Workman Mortgage, where 26 people have lost their job. It doesn't exist because they're not there anymore. Ma'am, you can't say morale is bad when you're collecting a check every month. I know it's been tough, but praise God, you still have your job. Praise the good Lord above that you're still employed. Because I will tell you, out there, the people I talk to that, that aren't employed are begging me for whatever they can get. Um, and so I know the pain you're going through. And I appreciate your service. And I hate to have these debates because I really have a great deal of respect for teachers. But just praise God that you still have your job. And, then, uh, and to answer your first question, Church we're right in the middle. State. Because everyone says, all the teachers are leaving and going to Georgia. Georgia has a state income tax. So, yes, they start you off with $6,000 more. They take it right back out the door. So we are right in the middle. Uh, we're not very high for no chance. And we're not at the bottom. We're right in the middle. But let, let, let me tell you where we are, according to Education Weekly. We're number four in, a na in the nation. So we're, even if we're in, at average, right. that's not that's not number great. But I'll tell you, quality of education. Quality of education. Oh, education I Weekly. So I just, I I, and, I, and I want to thank you, and Thanks I want to thank our, our, my I mom. Thank you, Liz. And, 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 Morale may, be, the morale may be low, but let me tell you, the outcome does not reflect well, that. I fear for the future because I don't see young teachers wanting to go, come into the schools. I just graduated. I have a degree in education and nothing to do with it. So, <laughs> I don't, you know. Let, let, moving on here. Job, and, and yeah. Listen, yeah, I know. Right? Get another job. <laughs> let, let, listen, listen, listen. I, I do not want to answer this question, but I'm going to read it just to show because I always got hit on about uh, not going through. So, here's a question I do not want to answer. Do you think Senate President Herodopoulos should return the 152000 he built, and I think I know where this question is going, or it's like built, from Florida's taxpayers through his sweetheart, there we go, another leading word, uh, deal since it doesn't co uh, come close to meeting the original contract law? Okay. Um, the, the agreement with Senate President Herodopoulos, then teacher uh, or professor at the time, was between the president of Brevard Community College, who is no longer here, and members of the Board of Trustees, who are appointed by the governor. And they made a decision. Is it the right decision? I, 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 for, if I was on the board, I probably would have made a different one, certainly in hindsight. Certainly in hindsight. It's very difficult to look back. When we look through American history, it's terrible some of the things happen, but if we look during the time they, they took place. So as far, as far as everything was above board, what, was it the right decision made by the boards of the board of trustee and the president? Probably not. It pro and, 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 and the outcome probably certainly dictates that. However, however, I thoroughly support Senate President uh, uh, Herodopoulos for his bid for the U.S. Senate. And uh, we have a lot of Adam Hazard fans out here. I can tell. The, 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 the point to the whole thing, and I want to be honest. 
Everything was done above board no. at the man. It was discussed at the board. I'm not President Paradopoulos. It was done above board. Okay? See, this is a yes or no question. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Right. So you open up a can of this. Guys, have a better. This is big time. Hey, Lou. He really makes you nervous, doesn't he? Which one? You have an easier time discussing a woman's uterus than you do I Senator Haradonald. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Preston, Ms. Preston, you have two wonderful questions here. I'm going to read them, um, but we're not going to go over them because I'd rather come meet with you because they're good questions that I don't think anybody else, you're the money lady at the Brevard County Schools. You, Brian, yours is a good one. I'll read that and answer that. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> and the grammar's correct, too. Um, uh, is there any chance the state is moving to a two-year budget cycle? Uh, it would make it a lot easier. It's a great question. Um, why don't we meet on that and talk about the merits? And maybe that's a bill I could run next year. I'd love to hear the merits of a two-year budget cycle. Um, I can't come up with the 859 in FRS savings. Uh, if you can't come up with it, uh, it's going to be difficult. But we do have all those numbers broken down that you asked for. So why don't you and I, maybe bring Brian, uh, meet your office, do a little lunch, try to try to nail that down. Please decide. If, if you'll humor me, I'd like to meet with you on that stuff. Okay. Uh, Wait, no, no, that one, I didn't answer. Oh, you got time to read, okay. Uh, this is a little more pointed, but I think I know. <laughs> I had to read it twice, because, you know, you're an academic, you're way above my head. I want to make sure that I'm transparent and honest with constituents who ask me questions. Basically, what he says here, and I'm going to summarize your uh, small thesis, is um, <laughs> we cut $1.35 billion from education. Yet, could you back up on the slide to the budget? Yet, right, you're saying... This is in your documentation. Correct. And it's rich, true. rich, you've cut... Uh, one point three, one more, one point three billion dollars, or one one point three five billion of education. Yet our current budget is sixty nine point seven, and last year it was barely more than that at seventy billion point something. So, Rich, why did you cut one point three five billion of education? Let me make budget? sure I'm clarifying. You cut one point three five, but your documents say that. But funding for K twelve education is actually right at nine ten level. So my constituents are going to ask me how that's possible, and then I want to make sure I'm answering them correctly. No, it's not at nine ten level. Last year level? No, we cut um, per student by. Um, I don't have that number. Like four hundred bucks, I thought. Yeah, it is. Right. Did you? Nothing. I said we kept it even. We went to like oh. Six level or something. So we, 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 we cut per kid by four. Do you know? Four yeah, five forty two. So yeah. the question four is something five forty two. How did we uh, cut education one point three billion, and yet our budget only went down a few hundred million? Is that the question? No, I, th I thought that was a question, no, but it's in, not. In, in your What's documents, in your you point out that that the funding is equal or in what above. It,